Hey Sagittarius, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for September 2018. Make sure you click in the description box down below. Check out the brand new Stormy Grace merch in collaboration with my friends at Bad Manners. You can also check them out down below and there is a promo code so that you can save a little change while you get hooked up. All right, Sag, so this month, first and foremost, we're out of retrograde season. We're out of eclipse season, so we can actually get some things done, move some things forward, get on with it. And for you this month, you've got a lot of energy moving you forward in your career zone, which is absolutely phenomenal. Now, you're a fire sign, and you've got a lot of fiery energy helping you move forward. So I think you can use that very... Um, fire element nature of yours to get some things done. Now, right here at the beginning of the month on the 5th, we've got Mercury joining the sun up here in the sign of Virgo. This is at the tip top of your chart, so lighting up the career zone. And something I think is really important to highlight, because I get this question about um, the 10th house all the time. Yes, it's the house of your work and your career, but it's also your reputation and the things that you do out in the social world, right? Like your gifts that you're using and you're taking out in the world to give away. If you are a stay-at-home parent, that is your job. That is how you're serving, right? So how are you serving out in the world if you're retired, right? So it, it, don't worry about if you don't have some corporate career. This is how you show up in the outside world and it's really important to, to know that okay now with mercury and the sun here the sun brings light heat life and vitality so you want to be seen here so you're gonna want to be seen you're gonna, gonna want to be pushing forward mercury is on the mind as well helping you with communication. Now you've also got Mars going to be ramping up your third house this month. Um, so this is phenomenal for helping you in the work zone as well. It's like you've got a little bit of blessing up here in the career zone, plus you've got action and initiation and movement and forward motion in communication. So what does this mean? Yes, you could definitely be getting noticed by someone in a position of authority. You could be taking a promotion. You could just be making movement or starting to make movement in something in your career. Now, I do wonder too if this doesn't lead you to some kind of important social networking or business networking or something that's going on like that that actually helps to take you in your career zone to the next place that you're trying to go. Now, on the 6th, we've got Big Daddy Saturn coming out of retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. This is lighting up your second house. So again, um, hello, you have got so much going on in your ability to earn and to make a living and to do things and put things out into the world that have value. This is such a vital, beautiful month for you. Then we get to the 9th and we've got a new moon happening in Virgo, again at the top of your chart. The new moon is where we plant these seeds of intention for new beginnings. This is also helped out by having a Jupiter-Pluto sextile energy. So you've got a lot of fresh new beginnings here in your career. So you'll have the energy to be pushing things forward and also attracting the right kind of attention. So I love it. Now on the same day on the 9th, Venus is going to join Jupiter up in Scorpio. So hitting in your 12th house. Now here's the thing. Venus is the little benefic planet. Jupiter is the big benefic planet, right? So they're both just benefit planets. There's harmony, there's wisdom, there's beauty, there's magnetism, there's money, there's sensuality happening here through this 12th house. So I will tell you, um, my friends who have been studying or doing or creating something behind the scenes in that 12th house space, this is a wonderful time where you could be discovering answers. Things could be coming to you. In the 12th house, we walk between the worlds, so your dream life could get very busy. You could be getting psychic messages or imprints. Maybe you're studying um, something that goes between the worlds, right? So that's definitely a really gorgeous energy for you to also be making progress with. And if you are doing any kind of research, I will tell you that really, truly, Truly, some answers could be presenting themselves to you. Now, here's the other thing I want to say about the 12th house because it's absolutely possible. We have all kinds of kinds out there. The 12th house with Venus there sometimes can get a little bit questionable. This could definitely be an energy where maybe someone has a crush on you and you don't know about it. You like someone who doesn't know about it. This is very much so an energy where something romantic 
could be happening in a shadow place. This could be a fair energy. Maybe you find out about an affair. These could be things that also come up in this 12th house space, especially because Venus is going to be here for a longer time than normal because she's also going to take her retrograde um, in this energy as well. So things around love and finance, you could definitely be finding some things out from your shadow place, from the place of secrets. So please keep that in mind, okay? Now on the 11th is when Mars takes that move into Aquarius. So here into the third house, you've got the gift of gab behind you. You've got the gift of setting up those meetings. You need to sign some contracts. You need to do any of those things. You need a new strategy on how you're getting things done. This is a wonderful energy. So write that book, put that website up there, whatever it is. The power of Mars is in your favor this time. Now on the 18th is a day I want to kind of give you a heads up on. Really the energy starts moving to place on the 11th and it doesn't finish until the 28th. But around the 17th, 18th, so right in there you guys, Mars and Uranus are going to come into a square. Now Mars, Uranus, square is a warring energy right they it's disruption it is it is a rebellious break free kind of energy but it's not always in the yay liberation kind of way sometimes it's just dang disruptive or someone's challenging you or taking you on you've got mars over here in your third house and then you've got uranus over here in your sixth house okay now this could be something at work being challenged this could be something in your health being challenged. Whatever it is, it can create a mass amount of um, disruption. Now, your job here is not to freak out, right? You don't take this energy and go flip your lid, okay? Don't lose your tacos here. Your job is to respond, right? Respond at work. Respond to your health. Respond in your daily routine innovatively, creatively, intuitively. Respond in a way that you would have never responded before. What's your brand new reaction that you can bring to the table? Because just responding differently helps you actually use this energy. That's a break free moment, right? You're not tied down by your old freak out behavior. You can have a new response to life on life's terms and that is going to be golden. But I would definitely watch out if you are trying to sell anything or buy anything. I would tell you this couple days may not be the day and the time to do it either because it is just so disruptive um, there could be more issues with the the sale than than you are um, aware of at the time okay now on the 22nd we move into the autumn equinox we get a whole new season everything is freshening up Everything is freshening up, Sag, and this is you included as well. Now, on the 24th, we've got this full moon happening in the sign of Aries, and this is going to happen in your fifth house. So this is true love, romance, desire, passion, self-expression, children, um, dating, casual dating is happening right here, investing. Now, one of the things that I think of is this, you've got all this energy of Venus, right? She is roaming through your 12th house space. So maybe you've been working on something, seeing someone, liking someone, whatever it is in a romantic way. And then we get to this full moon that says something has to be ended, acknowledged, acknowledged or adjusted and you have to make a change to this relationship right you have to make a change to this passion project that you've had going on and this moon has a particularly heavy Saturn feel to it so you're doing it maturely right you're right you're you're very honest about the changes that have to be made at this time now if this is also something with your children right maybe you're having to change a strategy with your children or around um a new business or something that you've got going on. Whatever it is, your response to it is going to be to end, to change, or to acknowledge and adjust, okay? And over the next four weeks, you will make these adjustments. But what it is, is that everything at the full moon kind of comes to some kind of breaking point. And then you get the opportunity to adjust and transform and move forward. So definitely look out for that in your fifth house, okay? And I wanna say this too, if you are coupled up, this doesn't mean that your relationship is gonna end. This can also be an ending to the way that your relationship has been going. You know, if you haven't had very much sizzle and fire, I mean, for goodness sakes, Mars has been retrograde. Everything been retrograde okay you could be bringing it back to the table maybe you're getting a little bit of sexy back in the game that's all right too right so endings don't always mean terrible okay they just mean it's space for new beginnings right
Now on the 30th, we've got Pluto, our other big daddy energy, who happens to be our smallest planet and does a lot when he's moving around. He's going to be um, coming direct as well in the sign of Capricorn. So again, in your second house. Now here's the deal about Pluto coming direct. Pluto says, okay, Sag, the old version of you needs to die off so that the new one can live. So however you've been making money, however you've been regarding yourself, whatever that self-esteem piece has looked like, you're definitely going to be getting an adjustment to it now because Pluto is ready for the empowered version of you to live and he's definitely hopping cosmically in your back pocket to help you get that done. So it's really kind of a gorgeous month. I look forward to seeing what's going on for you, with you, in you, through you. So please keep me posted in the comment section down below, all right? All right, you guys like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Know that I love you a ton and thank you so much for spending some time with me this month, all right?